All right. The time has finally come. The time has finally come in which we must admit that just perhaps, as wonderful as all of our little rabbits and fish and whatever Bunny wants to call out a jackalope instead, uh, and the birds happen to be, uh, we kind of need to learn a lot more than the little wildlife animals can teach us a little bit faster if we want to, you know, actually end up surviving winter. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's time to take notes! Uh, quite literally, with the paper maker being um, put in place. But welcome back to the village of the Angry Owl, my friends. Where our druids, Marsh and Lord Thunder, are realizing, hmm, you know, we just might need a little bit more help here. And so they are putting in the hard work of going ahead and um, researching the paper maker, which hopefully we will be able to put in pretty quickly. I'm hoping we can go ahead and put the paper maker, like, let's see, plus one if wood maker within one and plus one if clearing path to dwelling. So I want to put the wood maker or the paper maker maybe like right here where this tree is so we can put another cool wood cutter over here and have them surrounded by the beauty of the forest so that, you know, they can cut trees down. You think that would also be a bit of a penalty for being a shamanistic uh, tribe, but I don't want to speak that into the universe when we already have to balance our bunnies oh so carefully. <clears throat> in any case, right now Kit Kat Nat is taking a break from bouncing about and gathering boulders in those mountains uh, and uh, adding one of the last huts we will be able to build with one of the last locations we can add in a new villager until we figure out what to do about the population problem. Hmm. Hmm. Not gonna lie. Might be sweating some bullets about what to do about this. But hopefully we will be able to go ahead and um, maybe get a lucky boon that lets us have more room. I've never had an event where someone just finds a bunch of useful things like leather, but I guess that kind of makes sense. <gasps> and I forgot about our memory beacons and the terraforming again! Ooh, what's going on here? Hey, wood! Nice! A whisper in the wind up in our fields of barley gathering up uh, her skills as a new farmer has just found a fallen tree that tried, no doubt, to get into her farm field. Well, we'll kick that thing out and resume. Hopefully, gather- oh, what? what oh, oh, no, that was just people going into their little houses. Yeah, okay. All right, so we have two more days of training uh, a Whisper in the Wind before she's a farmer. Thankfully, she's happy, so we're getting a bunch of boost from that. We can swap over your local gamer girl to the Bonfire of Glory, because um, the next thing we have coming up is going... Oh, that's like right there. Okay, maybe we'll have a couple hands on deck for this. Just saying. Maybe it would be useful to have a lot of people thinking about you know, making things a little hotter around here. And I'm really grateful that Nature of Gaming can go ahead and gather up plenty of the wood that we're gonna have to like light up like a little, actually like a literal bonfire <laughs> in order to keep ourselves alive. Oh, I'm getting nervous. There's so many different directions we need to take everything, like getting our gloop guap maker up and going. Um, oh man, but if we're gonna survive off of like not meat for winter, oh boy, okay. You know? We're gonna do our best. That is all that, well, I'm sure that the, the wondrous owl of wisdom who our village follows could ask a lot more of us than just to do our best. It could ask for results, but our best is all we can really truly give it. No wonder it's so angry. <sighs> all right. Paper maker achieved! Now give me that scriptorium, I beg of thee. We're getting a little desperate for that, just saying, just saying. Uh, and let's see, scriptorium, plus one of clearing path to dwelling, plus two of knowledge maker within two. We could build just a really fast totem, like, that's fine. Uh, and paper maker, ahoy! I could put it here. Is there anything else I need to put next to a woodmaker? I can't think of anything. Papermaker it is! Uh, oh, nobody, no, no one available to, to, to do that? Um, 
Oh, thank goodness. Ginger Fury! <laughs> we can take one day off of gathering carrots. Oh, but you're gonna have to spend four days building that. Well, we have two healers. I'm sure everything is gonna be fine. I might even take a day off of the heat collecting, just one day, to frantically run over here and eat a baby who might end up becoming like our scriptorium scribe or maybe the knife juggler. Uh, thank you very much, your local gamer, Kit Kat Nat. All right. I'm really, I'm really starting to kind of like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about the population problem. Oh, I hope we get a boon that like lets us have more space in our homes. That would help. Uh, maybe, maybe that boon where you get like more from your tech when you're against a forest. I don't know if that's gonna actually help with housing though. Beware! A doom event is coming soon. Yes, shaman. I too can feel the bitter chill in my bones. All right, I see how you're coming around here. Yeah, you get, you get out of here. Okay. Uh, I think we'll be okay if we just have two people kind of working on a couple of the bonfires now and then because we were clever and we did our best to think ahead so that we could try to keep as many of our villagers alive as possible, which hopefully, huh, 38 days to the next season. Well, we're going to do our best. Again, that's all that the owl can ask of us, even though that I, if I was the owl, I would be a little irate, just saying. Um, maybe while we can, I could get something planted real quick. This would be three. Or a forager. The problem is the forager also gives us three seeds. And it doesn't need a farmer to, like, take care of it. You know? So let me think. Hmm. Can we get another field planted? What would I want? The barley? Probably, because that could go towards cows and that could also, yeah, because we can gather hemp from the forager if push came to big shove. So let's get down another field of the barley. I'm really grateful that we're able to at least get, you know, these fertile tiles covered too. Maybe I should kick this apple tree out already. All right, I think everyone's okay. And do I have an unoccupied? I do have an unoccupied house. <gasps> Dare I risk it? Yes. Yes, we risk it! Bring forth the new babies to help us face the Pipocalypse, because we're going to need all the help we can get. I sense it in my bones! Which I can only imagine are like creaking because it's gonna be getting quite cold. And I mean, I say that, but you know what? Look at our little elder go. She has been shimmy shuffling all over the place and putting in the hard work of like wiggling here, wiggling there. She's one of those people who takes the advice of continuing to like use your muscles as you age. So I actually think she'd be spryer than most of us. Maybe, maybe your bones can still ache in that case, but you know, the point stands. Okay, we do not need Pipling's starving please. Uh, let's see. Ooh, and we have our new babies! Okay, I'll need to go ahead and name those kidlets in a minute. And Dino Dave, okay, actually, we're gonna need all of your tools. So if you could keep going there, and then if somebody has some time, let's get a clearing path to this dwelling started so that hopefully it can just go in a straight line and we can have the scriptorium happy. We can put a tiny little, let's see, knowledge maker within two. We could put like a little, um, oh gosh, totem right here to give that knowledge maker boost and paper maker within one so i would have to clear away these woods that wouldn't affect the woodcutter but that's going to be far away from our abilities right now cutting down a whole forest a doesn't sound like you know the, anybody in the, the whole group would appreciate that uh and b like that's a good idea i need more seeds <laughs> oh man pivoting for seeds Yes, and actually, Nature of Gaming, we have so much wood due to your diligence. I'm going to have you run up here and keep our carrots coming because they're kind of like the thin, thin little carrot line between us and, and starvation at the moment. I really need to get the Gloop Glop Maker researched, but that's why we're trying to take the time to wisely invest in the scriptorium. I can't tell, like, because you're supposed to make wise investments, right? 
uh, like something something diversified stock something and patience but but well no wonder people don't make sensible decisions sometimes with their futures because it's spooky when you're just sitting here going oh my gosh ginger fury are you symptomatic you're just sick you're oh your quirk is weak and you have a five percent chance daily of getting sick suddenly a, I regret not having a polis infusion to heal you. B, I'm very glad Pseudo Fishy is our second healer. Oh my gosh, that could have been many layers of exceptionally bad. Okay, well then, uh, let's see. Where did everybody run off to? Heckin? All right, there we go. Dino Dave, if you want to help gather, well, we don't need carrots right now. So if you actually want to help put down as weird as is these clearings, that would be a big help. And then where's my farmer? Heck, where did you go, my dear? Whisper in the wind. I understand we need food right now. Okay, well, you can stay over here then. And we don't need, we don't need Kit Kat Nat on heat collecting right now, thankfully, because we are able to have plenty with our bonfire of bounty, uh, thanks to your local gamer. Thank you very much, your local gamer. And then we're gonna need wood and stone for the scriptorium. And I guess we can put down like the last of the little clearings just to get that nice and strong. There, okay. <laughs> I feel, oh wait, and we need to get the little uh, totem put over here too. I, once again, tentatively feel so far, like we might be onto something. The only thing we're really not onto is getting enough food. Hmm. Maybe we'll put down two scriptoriums. Oh man. But that means <sighs> we really need more pips. I can't believe I'm looking forward to this doom because I'm hoping there's a boon that could help us out with that. That doesn't feel good. Uh, let's see, no handyman available. My foot? Please, oh geez. Okay, wait, Gizmosy Chaos! You know what? Somebody with a name that invokes chaos is perfect for juggling knives. So why don't you do that? And then, let's see, Ginger Fury, we are going to get you cured so that you don't put any more sickness grr, into my, my area. And we've got enough heat. So that's neck and neck. We'll be able to keep that going. So let's keep the wood piling then because we're needing to use wood for heckin' everything. And look at this. Oh wait, it needs to be within one of an animal. Well, if I put down two scriptoriums, one here and one here, they count as knowledge makers and should support each other, right? Maybe? One can only hope. One can only hope. All right, and speaking of hope, uh, does that mean I can free one of my poor farmers to come over and start harvesting? Thank you, Whisper in the Wind. Hopefully, there we go. Dino Dave took your position as carrot collector. Oh, all right. Again, nervous about the whole carrot thing. Really wish we could have a lot more of all the resources, but we're working with what we've got. That's all I can say. All right. Everyone good? Oh, yay! All right. Now our illness is thwarted. I might need to gather some of that hemp so that we can start making more infusions and maybe pushing a little bit on getting some health protection. Reminding everyone that, well, I guess get some fresh mountain air would be the theme for this village because we're kind of going with like a little bit of a fun mountain theme here. And that does sound appropriate. Remind everyone to get some fresh mountain air. We're also gonna like kick this power of sickness out of the way just to make sure we're ready for that. And, oh boy. Okay, I can't believe I'm actually hoping that we'll manage to squeak by with a doom. Uh, let's see, maybe plant this field. Because we still have 32 days until the next season. But I would really like to have a second farmer. Okay, good. We can spare enough carrot collectors that Dino Dave can get back to tool making. Whew, okay. Well? 
All right. Carrots going out. Barley being collected. And then once we have the scriptorium going, I'm hoping we can start making a mad dash for maybe the mill and the bread at this point. Because I think that because of the barley, yeah, I think because of the barley, our best bet is having a couple of farmers, investing in a couple farmers, and then just yeeting ourselves as hard as we possibly can <laughs> into going ahead and um, getting the mill up and going. And if we need the mill up and going, <gasps> yay! Oh my gosh, I forgot to name our new piplings. Oh, I'm so relieved to have a couple more of our piplings available. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, let me pull up that Patreon name list of the people who make all of our adventures possible. And welcome Pink Flamingo. Pink Flamingo, I would love to turn you into the miller that just is like out on the lake. That would be really cool. But we might be a bit away from that possibility. However, Vaskri! Hopefully, with the return of both of you who have been in our adventures before, and thank you so much for making all of these adventures we have possible. Maybe I should be saying Pipsible at this point. Hmm. That doesn't roll off the tongue as nicely, though. Um, let's maybe expand a little? Just to have more reach? Because I can't train either of you. Well, actually, maybe I... Is it worth planting more things when I don't even have enough farmers to harvest them? Maybe not. Oh man, trying to decide which direction to go right now. Maybe a little bit nerve wracking. I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna collect some seeds because that one more pull of these carrots and they're gone. Um, and hopefully, Pink Flamingo, Vaskri, you're faith in living out a grand adventure <laughs> will uh, be met with with uh, possibility and wonder. Hey, look at that! Vosgris already got- oh my gosh. <gasps> a novel idea! That's amazing! Vosgris! Okay, that's it. You get to become like one of the scriptorium scribes because the timing on that was ridiculous. Just as I was trying to predict and perhaps like put the best of what I could into fate and hope for you, you went ahead and did that. And I think we're going to focus, like I said, on the water mill instead of switching focus over to the metal extractor. And well, because we could do metal extractor and we could do um gloop glop cauldron but we would need either eggs milk and flour or meat or a lot more vegetables than we actually have to be able to make anything out of the gloop glop so mill first and th that hopefully will work out and let's go ahead scriptorium scriptorium let's get this one built and then let's actually, Ginger Fury, if you build two scriptoriums, oh, we're about to have the knowledge just flying out the ears. And hopefully Marshmage and Lord Thunder might even be able to take a break and help with other stuff for a little while, which might also be very useful. Like just gathering a little bit of water here, gathering a bit of water there, maybe expanding our village reaches like so. Uh, ooh, or maybe helping to, you know, go ahead and keep the barley fields bumping. I like it. Whoops. There we go. I like it. I like it. There we are. All right. Let's face down this next doom. Let us see what boon we have wrestled out of the hands of the gods themselves. I love the mental image of being able to like kick some sort of evil little creature in the face and be like, ha ha ha. My villagers live this time, you fool. All right, scriptorium's being built. I wonder why one is faster than the other. Huh, all right, not asking questions. And then, where is that rock going? Oh, the stone workbench. Oh, we can have another farmer. Oh boy, oh decisions. Oh, pink flamingo, you had become another one of our farmers. Ah, uh, 
Oh, okay. Uh, but you could also become a miller, and I think making you a miller sounds adorable. Oh, boy. All right, do we need more tools at the moment? Can I swap you out? Oh, boy, I think I have both of our people. Okay. Yeah, we need another farmer, so... Who will it be? Taking this stone tool chiseled fresh from Dino Dave himself, and it's Voskri! Voskri, I was gonna have you be a knowledge worker, but like... I mean, where'd my other pipling go then? Alright, are we building over here? I think so. Didn't I have one last handy pip? Oh yeah, no, we were saving Pink Flamingo for that. <gasps> are we gonna be out of pips without jobs after that? And I wanted two knowledge workers, right? Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be okay. Because this boon is totally gonna be like, all of your buildings can hold more pips. Right? Again, I forgot we even had memory beans. Ooh, we might unlock terraforming next time. <gasps> no! Okay. Well, we can gain 50 berries. Wild animals could grow twice as fast and the train hold twice the amount. Or we could have strong wood. All buildings have one more hit point. Oh boy. That was not the boon I was hoping for. Okay. I think we'll go with the berries. Because that's days worth of winter food. And it might be time to figure out how much leather cows can give us. Oh dear. Is this... Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Ooh, okay, well. If I'm very clever and playing, as my husband calls it, like f f 4, 5D, 19D chess, I might be able to figure out a way to get around this. If not, I probably should be working on some of those hope generating things soon. So we could, you know, go ahead. Yeah, breeze to avoid. Certainly was. We could have died. Oh my gosh, Shaman, again. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. So, what do we have coming up next? Oh, look at that. A bunch of fear. Oh, that's a, what is, oh, why is there a circle around this one? I don't like the circle. I, 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 oh, and it's gonna be this time a cold event, so we're gonna need more heat. And then there's gonna be cataclysms coming up for the first time in a while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot to keep us very busy. And our village is really not big enough to handle all of it just yet. Oh, righty, righty, righty then. Okay, well, what can you do but go one little pipply step at a time, eh? I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.